thank you so much to the two previous speakers uh, for all of those insights. And I think I come today with just like a lot more questions than answers about how we build a multiracial movement for climate justice, how we build a Green New Deal that is like bottom up and truly sourced from all parts of the country and is something that people are excited about and feel ownership and that those are huge questions that I know folks at Data for Progress and New Consensus are thinking about, but today I'll just share a little bit about what is happening in the parts of the climate movement that I'm involved in and the, the story that I have. Um, and then I'm definitely open to questions around ways to plug in. Um, I think the first thing I wanted to mention is that obviously there's a huge climate strike happening on Friday. And if you're interested in plugging in in your local area, strike with us.org will allow you to do that and figure out who is closest by to you that you could go in, support. I hope you'll consider striking. I've been trying to convince my mom, but I don't think she's quite there. But as a statement of like, this is an emergency. This is worth taking a day off from work for. And even though I work, I work at the Center for Climate Change Communication in my day job. And even though I work in climate change, I think I'm still going to strike and like send, have a kind of like radical away message about other organizations that you could be supporting frontline communities. Um, so I'd encourage you to do that. There are a lot of young people who started this work who were even younger than I was when I started this work who are trying to organize and have been striking and who I know always appreciate the support of older folks. And now there's like thousands of Amazon employees that are striking. And this is really, I think, going to be an exciting global moment. Um, so I got involved with Sunrise right after I kind of like really the day, the days after I moved to DC were the days of the action on the Hill. And I had been since starting to do climate organizing in high school. I was a Greenpeace youth volunteer. I'd been really looking for an organization that had strategic policy and aims and had a plan that was more long-term and, and based in commitment to justice and grassroots organizing. And I was really excited to be being able to plug in to, to Sunrise. And I moved to DC unemployed and just like needed a job. And so I, was, I had some time and I got arrested at the action at Nancy Pelosi's office. And was, it was really exciting to be a part a big part of that momentum when Sunrise was first starting and to be organizing in DC and bringing new people in who've never, had never been a part of the climate movement before and who were really moved by the vision of a Green New Deal. And obviously people have been talking about and fighting for concepts in the Green New Deal for decades. But I think there, was, there has been so much momentum and so much moving fast and, and wanting to accomplish these ideas and move things forward as, as quickly as possible. And I think now in the, in the youth climate movement, we're grappling with how do you do that also in the right way, in a way that is like building a multiracial equitable movement where the right people are leading on ideas and leading on implementation. And a lot of that looks like financial support, like a lot of youth organizers are like, do this work unpaid. And so that really limits who can be doing this work and who's able to devote their life to this full time or part time. So I think that comes into like financial support for youth movements is really huge because that determines who can be a part of those movements because there's a smaller group of folks who can do this work unpaid or part time or volunteer. Um, and I. Being involved with Sunrise has been really exciting because there's, there's been so much this like mass movement of, but of collective strategy across the country. But I think there, are, and we've also been grappling with like, so many people want to join Sunrise, but Sunrise is a youth movement. So how do we build this mass movement that is of people of all ages and generations? How do we make space to learn from people who've been doing this work for so much longer than we have. So just sharing things that we're grappling with. But I mean, 350 has chapters across the country that are doing really good work. 
um, and that partner with Sunrise and partner with all of these youth organizations. And I'm, I think I'm just really grateful to be here and be in community with all of these UUs who are also like have committed to work towards a Green New Deal. And I'm open to any questions about ways to plug in, but I'm also just happy to be here learning from you all. Thank you.